Welcome back. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and at tonight's Metro Council meeting, Council Member and Women's Caucus Chair Joy Styles brings the resolution recognizing the 20th anniversary of Meet Us at the Bridge. She's here now to talk more about this. Councilwoman, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Give us a little bit of the history of this event because it's a very moving one in Nashville every year. So Meet Us at the Bridge happens the first Saturday, the first Saturday in October okay. every year, mm -hmm. and it honors the victims of domestic violence. This year is actually their 20th anniversary. Wow. So we will be presenting them with a resolution this Saturday and we will also be honoring the lives of 191 women oh who have lost their lives to domestic violence. Um, I think in the pandemic you really saw it escalate because you had no place to go because you were forced to be inside with your abuser and so the fight continues. Mm. Um, I wish that I could say that we see the numbers go down mm. in a pandemic, out of the pandemic, but unfortunately we don't. Mm. And more often you, you see the cases rise. So we're really honored to honor the work mm. um, that Meet Us at the Bridge is doing. And, and that is Susan Tucker Smith. Mm. She is one of our district attorneys who really spearheads this event. And I thank her for the work that she has done. <clears throat> if you haven't been, you need to come down. Mm. It takes place at 8.30. It is on the pedestrian bridge. Uh, the Siegenthaler Bridge, and we walk over the bridge mm. together, unified, saying, this is not okay. Mm. We shouldn't be losing lives this way. Yeah. It gave me chills, honestly, when you said honoring 191 victims because that's almost 200 families with loved ones left behind, with children left behind because of something that's so senseless and unnecessary. And I know the Nashville Coalition Against Domestic Violence works to address this as well. They're also honored in the resolution. Tell me about their work. Yes, and, and so again, we have another organization that's mm -hmm. committed to making sure that women have access. Mm -hmm. You need to have places to go. We have a lot of great organizations in town mm -hmm. um, that are helping women and families get out of these situations and if sometimes, and oftentimes it takes seven times mm. for a victim to leave their abuser. Wow. wow. Seven times. Mm. And many times in the cases that we're talking about for 191 women, they don't make it to that seventh time. Uh, I used to work at the YWCA Weaver Domestic really? Violence Center. Yes. Wow. Um, and sadly, when I was there, there were two people that lost their lives. Mm one of which I was I had grown very fond of. They stayed for the whole 90 day program. Mm -hmm. The other one had called to say that her abuser had been let out and she had not been notified. Wow. She was on the interstate flying to get to her child's school before her ex could possibly oh get gosh. there. We didn't have room and and sadly um, she voluntarily met with her abuser and unfortunately that weekend um, lost her life. And there are so many stories like that and we're grateful to have so many women like you on Metro Council trying to address these women focused issues. So thank you for the work that you're doing folks. We're going to have more information about the Metro Council meeting. You can look at the full agenda at WKRN.com.